Hey guys, last time we talked, it was about family-friendly content. Today, let's talk about the best practices that you need to observe when you have minors on your videos. But before we do, guys, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and gong that bell. Hey guys, my name is Nold, and welcome to Freedom Central, the home of all freedom content. Do you have children or minors in your videos? That's okay. If you want to showcase their talents on a video, that's fine. If you want to share their silly side, that's fine too. But there are best practices and things that you need to observe when you have minors or children on your videos. So enough chit-chat, guys. Let's get on to the episode, Freedom Quick Tips. Number one best practice or guideline is respect privacy. In terms of privacy, you have to respect the wishes of the minor's parent. You must ask for permission from them that you will include their children in your videos. Make sure that the child must also consent or must have a voluntary participation. Number two, moderate user comments on your videos. You are also responsible to maintain their dignity. If there are comments on your videos that are pretty alarming and inappropriate, you must delete it. Proper moderation is key. Number three, manage your video's privacy and embed setting. Your videos might be shared through a lot of sites such should not be shared. It is your duty to help the manager of privacy and also for the content you make. You must manage how they are distributed. Now that you know all those guidelines, let's talk about work etiquette. If there's proper work etiquette for adults like us, there's also a specialized work etiquette for children. Number one specialized work etiquette for children is permit. Permits vary in countries. Coordinate with your local government to know how you will be able to legally ask the help of a minor for your videos. I know it's a lot of work and paperwork, but hey, if things go horribly wrong, which we hope will never ever happen, happen at least you are covered by paperwork. Number two, wage or revenue share. I know this is something that you will not like, but it is what it is. Minors who you want to include in your videos are considered as talents, and as talents, they should be compensated for their time and efforts, as they have rendered their services to your production. In some countries or locations, you will be subjected to give them a wage or revenue share, but it all depends on your local laws and negotiations. Number three, school or education. Education is a right for all minors and for all people. Your production must not be a hindrance to their education. Hey man, that's the way it is. Children have to study and that is way more important in the eyes of their parents and the law. Number four, working environment, hours, and breaks. But for minors, this is more stressed out. Minors are not allowed to work at night and they must be safe at all times and the safety measures must be secured by us, the content creators. You see, there's a lot of things to include or to know if you are putting minors in your videos. Hopefully this video will help you out in your productions. And that's the episode, guys. What was the most relevant tip to you? Let us know down below. Share this to a friend who has minors on their videos so that they can work properly with that minor or child and it will help them out in the future. Before you leave guys, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and gong that bell. My name is Nold guys, bringing you tips on how to grow your channel. Always remember, freedom, quick tips. See you on the next episode. Goodbye.